Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I'm very pleased to uh, be on the Energy and Commerce Committee and uh, on this subcommittee on communications and technology uh, for the 118th Congress. Uh, this uh, subcommittee has uh, jurisdiction over many issues uh, that you've heard about that we all face in our districts, primarily uh, rural broadband, uh, consistent cell service, and others. Uh, you know, resolving uh, these issues seems to be a little complicated. Uh, just to give you an example, though, of some of the great things that I'm enjoying from satellite is satellite radio. Uh, you know, I spend about 36 weeks here in Congress, and then the rest of the time I spend in my district, which covers 23 counties, and in a week we'll put as many as 2,000 miles on the car, and without satellite radio, I don't know that I would find out exactly what's going on out there. Uh, but, the, but the other uh, issues are the, the cell phone coverage, and then, of course, broadband, and, uh, and all these other things. And I will tell you something on the agriculture side. Um, I grew up on a tractor, on a small farm. The last time I was on a tractor, I did not touch the wheel. And I planted peanuts 16 inches over from where they were planted the year before in a row that was perfect. It was, it was an experience like uh, no other. So we're making tremendous advances, tremendous advances. And there are great stories out there. But how do we get to where we need to be. Um, for example, the most frustrating thing in my district is trying to use my phone. I mean, we drive by a cell tower and I can't get cell service. I don't understand that. And, uh, you know, obviously, is, if it's the FCC, I don't know. Uh, uh, Ms. Deckard, I mean, what, what can we do to advance uh, you know, the technology is, it, it, as far as broadband and cell phone quickly uh, because, you know, we're running a lot of fiber optics in my district right now uh, it, it, because I guess we, you know, satellite's just not there. But are we going to be in a position very quickly where satellite will be there? I mean, it, are these competing technologies or how can we, you know, how's this going to work? Well, I think that, uh, thank you for the question, sir. I, they're not competing technologies. There's a role for every one of these ways we supply connectivity. It's really having a portfolio of options. There's places where laying fiber is the best option, and there's places where using satellite is the best option. And the great thing about satellite is it provides network resiliency for the fiber-based networks when they go down for whatever reason. So it's not an either or. It's how we build those services and continue to support the American public and meet their communications needs, which are growing on an everyday basis yeah. as we move forward. Well, and obviously GPS is critical because we use that in the construction industry. Uh, again, our motor graders and all are self-guided and that sort of thing. As far as the uh, security, um, you know, we talked about security. And Mr. Uh, Strupp, uh, what... Uh, What's your biggest challenge is, is de in dealing with, uh, you know, adversaries, that sort of thing? I mean, I, we talked about the competition with China. You know, frankly, I think we, we've got to figure out how to get ahead, ahead there. But uh, from a security standpoint, obviously, what we're running into with, uh, with broadband and, and uh, the Internet and uh, email and all these other things, uh, is, would, would satellite help that situation? So thank you for the question. And if I may add to the, uh, the, the prior question, I think one of the ways of helping to drive adoption of the satellite connected con connections to mobile phones is to convey to mobile carriers that given the technology is being deployed, there's an expectation that they will uh, utilize it to be able to provide coverage into those areas. So the security of satellite systems is extremely important. And we uh, created a set of uh, cybersecurity principles probably at least five years ago. We are in the process of updating them. Uh, most of the companies in the industry provide service or seek to provide service to the U.S. military. And as you can well imagine, they have requirements to be able to provide service uh, in conjunction with the military. So uh, this is an ongoing process. Um, uh, we received warnings, SIA received warnings at the initiation of the war in, in Ukraine to notify our members that they may be subject to cybersecurity attacks. 
Uh, it wasn't necessarily anything we needed to convey because it's an issue that is top of mind of, of all of the carriers. Okay. All right. Service, well, I'm, so. I'm sorry I'm out of time, but, but one thing I'm, I'm going to submit a question on the capital markets. As, as far as the capital markets and, and their investment, obviously they've been uh, cell phone in the past or cell towers in the past. How do we, what are the capital markets doing to help you? get this new uh, technology up. Well, if I, if I, thank if you, I'll yield back. But uh, if the gentleman would like to submit that question yeah. in writing, thank you very much.